understanding the question. Let's imagine two different IELTS candidates. Candidate one, Kenneth, is fresh out of high school and needs an IELTS score to study at an English speaking university. He likes playing sport and going to parties, and he isn't very interested in news and current affairs. Candidate two, Stacy, has been working as a nurse for the last 10 years. She needs an IELTS Band 7 to become registered in an English speaking country. Stacy likes to keep up to date with the news and reads about various topics in her first language. Which candidate will be more likely to have an opinion about a random topic such as museums? My guess is that Stacy will have an advantage over Kenneth. This is because Stacy has more life experience and also because she reads widely, which increases her general knowledge. In the IELTS writing exam, you never know what the topic is going to be. To answer the question fully, you need to develop a response based on a clear overall opinion. So how can you answer the question if you don't have an opinion about the topic? The best thing you can do is try to increase your general knowledge by reading about news and current events. You should also be aware of the typical IELTS topics, education, history, science, technology, art, sport, health, culture, and so on. The next thing you need to be able to do is to break down the question and understand how you need to respond. Let's imagine that this was your task two writing question. The question is actually asking you to do three things. Explain why some people think museums should be free. Explain why other people think museums should not be free. And give your own opinion. It may seem very simple when you break it down like this, but many students do not respond to every part of the question. Mostly this is due to a lack of planning. So how would you plan an essay based on these three tasks? At the very minimum, you should plan to write one paragraph for each of the three parts. A typical strategy that candidates around band six take is to structure the essay like this. In plan A, equal weight is given to both views. In my opinion, this is a weak structure because the writer's final opinion will be either undecided or not strongly supported. If the paragraphing and language are okay, and if the word count is at least 250, the plan A structure is usually fine to achieve a band six. However, in my experience, I've noticed that band seven candidates typically write more than 250 words. This is just because you need more than 250 words to develop a well-supported opinion. A structure that is more likely to achieve band seven would look like this. It is clear from this plan that there are more reasons why museums should be free. The structure of the argument lets the reader guess that the writer's overall opinion is in support of free museums. So as you can see, it's not only the words which tell us the writer's opinion, but also the essay structure itself.